Hi, I'm Glenn Hughes. And I'm Ed Buzio. For three decades, I've been working inside a publicly traded company. And for over a decade, I've been an entrepreneur supporting companies like Glenn's from the outside. In this series, we look at the problems and challenges of the modern workplace and provide our ideas and advice from the inside and out. Glenn and I go to a lot of conferences together, and a lot of people ask us, is it better to work for a corporation or to be an independent? That's our topic. What do you think, Glenn? Well, I've voted with my feet. I've been working for a large corporation for 28 years, Ed, and uh, I've had many questions over the years about whether I would like to be independent or not. So clearly, I believe it's better to work in a corporation because I haven't left. I guess I voted with my feet, too. I used to be in a big corporation, but for over a decade, I've been on the outside supporting companies like yours. Why? Well, my first answer to that question when I first left is my friends would say, is it better or worse to be on the outside? And I'd say, here's the answer. When you need a new computer and you're on the inside, you have to wait for the refresh cycle. But you get one. When you need a new computer on the outside, you can buy it yourself whenever you want to, but you have to pay for it. Hmm. Interesting. People ask me all the time, why have I stayed in a large corporation? Um, because I actually don't seem like the kind of person to traditionally stay for many, many years in an organization. That's the reason why I stayed, is my life in many ways is chaos. Um, I travel a lot, I make impromptu decisions, I'm kind of a creative, uh, borderline wild idea guy. And what I find is that the corporation is actually my safe haven. I come down and my feet are on the ground, I know where I show up to work, I know who my manager is, I know what my next project is, I know who my customer is. So that kind of um, dependability at the core of my life allows me to, to flex and be improvisational everywhere else. I find that really satisfying. It's funny you say that because actually I think a lot of that's true of me too. I'm all over the place. I'm doing a lot of things at once. I actually think that's an advantage I have as an external is I can manage multiple things in parallel um, with that. So I find that I have to ground myself though, and I don't know if that's a pro or a con. Mm. On the pro side, I get more control over what I work on. But on the con side, if I don't ground myself, nobody else does either. Huh. So what about job security? I get asked that question a lot about the money. And on the one hand, I feel like I'm probably less secure because the bank account is smaller and I'm certainly not a major corporation. On the other hand, it'll never happen to me that I show up at work and find I don't have a job anymore. I won't be surprised. I know every dollar I have and where it's going. So if I am going downhill or uphill, I always know it. So I don't know if I'm more secure or less secure in that way. Yeah, and even working in a company, I, it's never occurred to me that I'm quote unquote secure because I'm working in a company. Um, again, three decades, I've watched lots of ups and downs and uh, lots of people come and go. And so I think people who say, I'm gonna work for a corporation because it's secure, that, that, that's a false sense. Um, that's not why I'm there. I love the resource availability. I love the opportunity to impact 5,000 people in my company, um, a captive audience per se. I love the fact that we access really large uh, customer base that I don't have to do the work to get to. Um, so all those resources and all to me, that's, that's actually like a psychological security that, that goes beyond, I think, the financial security, which really isn't of the utmost concern to me. You know, when I left the big company, the thing I missed the most was being surrounded by smart people. I'm all alone some days working, and I get a lot more done that way, but I do miss that psychological connection. Uh, you're right about the access, too. We've done some pilots together in your company, yeah. and the reason is I have, in many ways, more content, more flexibility to develop things, but I don't have an audience unless I can collaborate with someone like you who has an audience. It's a lot harder for me to get 10 people in a room, much less 50, than for you. Yeah, and, but then you can walk away from your audience. I can, <laughs> and I can often adjust more easily what I'm doing because I don't have as much political pressure to do what somebody or some group wants. So is it better to be inside or out? Well, I guess it's better for me out and better for you in. I would say the same thing. Somehow I figure we both survive either environment. Probably, and we're probably happier working together than not working together too. So let's toss that question back out to our viewers. What's better for you, working inside or out? <laughs>